welcome to Nadia Studio. So this is going to be another quick one. This is similar to the illustration I did with the two boys in their room. And as I mentioned in the previous video, um, how this was all going to work, I wanted this to follow the similar pattern of going from a detailed environment in room to doing a zoom in on the character within the room and uh, the interaction with the books. So here she has pulled uh, the traveling book out and is now pulling out some homework and uh, the idea kind of being expressed through Grace's storytelling is she is being a responsible student, taking care of her homework, taking care of uh, things right away. I kind of indicated by her tidiness in her room that she is uh, pretty good at uh, taking uh, initiative and uh, keeping things in order. Uh, there is an insinuation that she lives with her grandmother, so maybe she got some values from her grandmother to uh, do things in a pattern, in a routine, something like that. So here we uh, just are going to have a little zoom in of her desk area. And like I said before, these are kind of like spot illustrations, but I like the background to be colored. Um, so just to give kind of a wash of her pink walls, uh, the background is just that soft pink. Uh, the problem here I was having was, so the wall is pink or the background is pink. The chair is pink and then her sweater is pink and all those pinks I need to uh, make distinguished from each other. Uh, so yes, I do go darker and I uh, I do try to add a little bit of shadow as far as uh, the pink uh, goes to distinguish it, but I was kind of worried about going more layers on the background. Uh, due to that, the table is... Uh, white and then I was confused well not confused I was uncertain what to color her uh, skirt or her uh, bottoms because we hadn't seen that in the previous uh, uh, page and so I was debating what uh, would work in here I forget what I settled on I think it might be blue um, but yeah, everything here is mostly just going over more layers uh, very simple illustration, but I think cute, um, and just gets a good uh, zoom in on the actions and things that are happening. Uh, you won't see it, but the it will be kind of cropped. We won't have so much space above her head, and so the text that I overlay uh, is going to follow a bit of a interesting pathway, which I think uh, fits into. Uh, the whole composition interestingly and I like it uh, so uh, just a little uh, insider peek there but uh, yeah it's a very simple one very quick uh, one to do one to record uh, but all the same uh, you do get these simpler illustrations that just don't take two three days for me to uh, finish between waiting for layers to try uh, and uh, when I'm feeling rushed and when I'm feeling um, like I really need to get a move on, these are very gratifying in that way. Uh, because I know I'm like, okay, I moved on. I got a whole illustration done, even though it's a simple one. It's still done. And so there we have it. This is Grace uh, with her little illustration. And I'll be back with the next phase. I think we'll be with Grace once again. Thank you for watching.